Hey guys, Nerfay here from Blanks Universe, and this is going to be my review of the ASUS N56VZ Multimedia Laptop. First, we're going to talk about what's in the box. So first, it comes with the ASUS Sonic Master subwoofer. This is a small subwoofer that's supposed to be used with the laptop to provide better bass. At the bottom, we have this thing that holds the uh, cord in place and the plug. So you plug this end into your laptop, and here is where the speaker is lo the speaker is located at the bottom of the contraption. So you just wrap the cable around it to store it, and put the bottom back on. It also comes with this ASUS mouse. It's really shiny. Yeah. It's a nice inclusion of the laptop. It also comes with a laptop bag. I'm not sure if all models come with one, but mine did. So let's get to the laptop. So first at the top, you see the ASUS logo. This logo is actually illuminated, similar to the MacBook Pros, so when you open the laptop, it lights up. It also has a very nice brushed aluminum finish, but it also attracts fingerprints, so you're going to have to be wiping it a lot. So at the back, you see part of the battery and the two hinges. On this side, you see the subwoofer port, so that's where you put the subwoofer in. The VGA out. This is the heatsink. You have the very slim Ethernet connector. So you put it in there. HDMI and two USB 3.0 ports. On the front, you see five LED indicator lights. On this side, you see the headphone and microphone port. Another two USB 3.0 ports. So this laptop has a total of four USB 3 ports. A Blu-ray reader, not writer. A the power connector and the Kensington lock. On the bottom, you see you see the um, cover for the hard drive RAM and probably the wireless cards. Here we have the uh, product key. You can take that, but it won't work on yours. I really don't care. Um, and serial numbers and stuff. Here is the battery and the battery release. Let's get on the inside. Here you have a backlit illuminated chiclet keyboard. It's really nice. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. Oh well. Here we have the trackpad. It supports multi gestures. Here we have the Intel sticker, the Nvidia sticker, and the Windows 7 sticker. The Nvidia sticker is crooked and that really annoys me. Here we have the laptop specs. So as you can see, it has an Intel Core i5-3210M running at 2.5 GHz, so it's an Ivy Bridge processor. As a 6x Blu-ray reader, if you get the i7 model, it comes with a writer as well. There are millions of configurations of this laptop, so yeah, it comes with 8 gigs DDR3 memory. Windows 7 Pro, other configurations might come with Windows 7 Home Premium, and a 1TB hard drive. It has a superb low light performance HD camera, wireless 360 Wi-Fi coverage, and it has ASUS Instant On which resumes in 2 seconds. As you can see here, the sound is by Bang and Olsen, so you're going to have to 
So you're going to get very clear audio with this laptop compared to other laptops. You can see the two speaker grills are located here. Here we have um, a button which you can remap to do many things in the included software. And here is the power button. You can see a circular dotted pattern that goes on both sides of the laptop and it's very nice. I've used this for about a week now or so and I've noticed that it's pretty good in performance. I can run Battlefield with about 30 FPS and you could probably render videos off this because of the a discrete graphics card. Um, the battery life isn't that great with this laptop due to the 1080p IPS display, the discrete graphics card, as well as the illuminated keyboard. It's quite heavy at 2 pounds or 5 pounds I think. So yeah. Thanks for checking out this review of the ASUS N56VZ Multimedia Laptop.